the first time uh, Ben Winston called and said, we're going to redo Friends for this special, the first reaction was, what? You know, it was like, how? I'm John Schaffner, uh, the production designer of the Friends Reunion special and actually the designer of the entire series. The project really started off with trying to locate what was still available. You know, 17 years ago when the show wrapped, we were surprised to know that Warner Brothers archives took it seriously and had stored the scenic elements, the walls, etc., in a warehouse. Now, when you get things out of a warehouse after 17 years, there's a lot of deposits, shall we say, on the walls and, and everything. And sometimes it appears as if the walls and the scenery had been tied on to a truck with a rope and dragged across town. So there was a great deal of restoration involved. In particular, we knew they had saved Central Perk Coffee House and had put it in their museum. It became a real challenge of what do we need to build new? What do we need to match? How do we put the puzzle back together? When I do watch the episodes, I'm laughing out loud once in every scene because you all make me laugh so hard. One of the initial challenges was to replicate or reproduce things that uh, we would normally have just purchased off the shelf at our favorite linoleum store, the flooring. And they simply didn't make the pattern anymore. So what we ended up doing was scanning a section of it that we had and then having it custom printed on linoleum so that we could then reproduce the floor. As we started to really dress the sets, that's when Greg and we all discovered what was really missing. There was a great search for the recliners. Oh, then we discovered that the rug in the living room didn't show up. So Greg fortunately found a terrific uh, graphic artist who was able to essentially view videos and look at pictures and reproduce the design closely. And then we printed it on a, just a plain piece of you know, beige carpet, which is an amazing thing. We couldn't have done that 27 years ago. We had, what an amazing team of carpenters and painters, some who had worked on the original series. It was a reunion in many respects, not just for the cast and our audience, but it was also a reunion for many of the artisans who had made it in the first place. Has it always been purple? <laughs> in our first conversations with Ben Winston, it was really critical to him to make the sets and the stage look just as if we were doing the last episode. So it was kind of really meant to look like the last season. And in that process, we decided we had to build the street. So when you looked out of the windows of the coffee house, you would see what you saw then. Because we had not saved the street, and originally the street was sort of a last minute idea to begin with when we moved to stage 24. We had photographs and we had some very crude drawings because we had mostly pulled a lot of you know, exterior storefronts stock. So we had to recreate that and, and it took a lot of studying and we tried our best. I think we did a pretty good job. One thing that we could not do was that the floor of the street was actually true street, true asphalt. And it was very classic film style to produce real concrete sidewalks and real asphalt streets because the texture reflects the light. But we weren't really able to do that in the amount of time that we had. So we, we reverted to paint for the asphalt and paint for the concrete. From the waist up, everything was as exact as we could get it. Wow. Does Courtney still have her lines written on the table? Obviously, there were some elements that weren't available. And so we had made a discussion, had a discussion with Ben that uh, if we couldn't find the exact thing, it would be too jarring to put something that really wasn't there. So we kind of spread out stuff a little bit. And, you know, we always had flowers in the apartment. Monica liked flowers. So in the reunion special, I think you may notice if you look carefully that there's more flowers <laughs> filling up spaces they might not have had before. So we decided it was because it was a special occasion that it was the reunion. We could have more flowers to fill in. We became best friends. Yeah, I'm gonna cry now. 
the recreation of the environment was so successful. So we were so honestly thrilled that we were able to get it as far as we did because Ben had wanted very much for the cast individually, one at a time, to walk into the stage with the camera and follow them as they experienced that emotional moment of going into the past. Each of our performers, all of them, the entire cast, were so blown away. You know, when I spoke with Jennifer, she was like, wow, this is amazing. And then she started crying. You know, Jennifer cries a lot. She's such a sweetheart. She's just, she's just the best. David is such a smart dude. He like looked around and he said, I can't believe how you did this. It's like the same. Matt LeBlanc was just laughing. He said, I knew y'all could do it. I knew you could do it. So uh, the whole cast, they just were sitting in the sets, getting ready for the group scenes. And that's when we had the chance to, you know, swing by and have a short visit with everyone. The set and the elements in it became true touchstones for their memories. And it took them a little bit, but the more they looked around, they just, they just reunited in this most amazing fashion as the family that they were when we were doing the series. It was so joyful to, to watch everybody respond to the visual environment the way they did.